Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 79-year-old female who complains of knee pain. She's had no prior injury, and the pain is worse on the right side, so she went to her orthopedic surgeon. They did these x-rays that are normal. This is her left knee, her right knee. She has no arthritis at all, which is amazing, 79 years old. If we look at her right knee here, we can see that the femur, which is this part up top, looks good. We see the tibia down below looks good. All the cortical trabecular are nice and straight. And this is the fibula looking good. This is the kneecap up here. So just completely normal x-rays with no evidence of a fracture or a suspicious bone lesion. And so the surgeon thought that maybe they should do an MRI just to make sure they weren't missing something. And they were. So this is a view. It's called a coronal stir sequence. And on the stir, anything bright is abnormal. So we see this bright signal in the medial tibia and centrally there's a transverse band of low signal. This is a non-displaced fracture, a stress fracture or insufficiency fracture. So the bone is weak here and there's trabecular microfracture that is dark and that bright halo is the surrounding marrow edema and this will go on to collapse eventually. The bone is very weak and sometimes this will go on and the tibial plateau will collapse and then she'll need um, knee replacement. But we've caught it now before it's collapsed. And when we see this in an elderly person, we think about um, osteoporosis. Sometimes they can have insufficiency fractures. The bone is just weak with osteoporosis. And it can look just like this. Other times, patients can do um, too much exercise, overuse, or they'll have a meniscus tear, and the meniscus is not working as a shock absorber. And that can lead to a stress fracture. So we're going to look at this meniscus. It looks good here. As we go around the back, I'm sorry, the front rather, meniscus looks great in the front. And as we go around the back, this is the posterior horn, and there's a little vertical band here. Hard to appreciate, but there's a little bright spot here that should not be here. This dark meniscus should come all the way down to here. But right here, there's a gap. So this is what we call a radial tear of the root. The root is torn and is pulled away, and there's loss of the normal hoop stress. And so the axial loading puts a lot of pressure on the tibia here. So this is a stress fracture of the medial tibial plateau. She may have also, also have some um, bony demineralization that can um, accentuate this. But this is a stress fracture of the medial tibial plateau associated with a tear of the medial meniscus root. And again, luckily we found it uh, before it's gone on to collapse. Thank you very much.